us. So today we're going to do short writing skill. What is that short writing skill? It is invitation writing. Okay. And uh, yes, so what are invitations? You know that you send an invite for a formal function and even for an informal function. So now in our writing skill today that we will be doing, I'll be discussing right now with you all, this is a formal invitation. Invitations, they are formal as well as informal. Which are the informal invitations which you send to your friends and relatives. So they could be a note, they could be a handwritten you know, note. And nowadays, yes, we have our WhatsApp messages where we send our informal invitations. But in most occasions, we get formal invitations, right? And those formal invitations here, they are in the form of a card or in the form of a letter. Okay, right? Is this clear? Now, what are we going to do about writing invitations? We are going to learn about how to make this invitation, right? So it's called the drafting of the invitation. Then after this, we this is your formal invitation, right? How to draft it, writing a reply to this invitation. If you are the chief guest, how would you reply to it? Okay, if you've uh, uh, invited for this uh, function, how are you going to reply to it? So, right, are you going to accept that invitation or are you going to decline it? Accepted means yes, I will attend it. Decline, no, I, I have other commitments and maybe because of other, like, you know, like priorities or so I might not be able to attend. Okay, so we will be doing informal as well as formal invitation. Now, when we send, oh, you have received invitations. Yes, we have received invitations for functions and all. So when you look at the invitation, what are the things that you notice about it? Can you tell me? Yes. What are the things you notice about the invitations that you receive? What are they? Well, yes, when you look at the invitation, there on the top, it is the, who is there? The person who has the chief, uh, you can say, in host or the invite, right? It is written over there, right? The name of the host, okay? Then, yes, right? If it is a personal invitation, then it is maybe your name is there. But in general invitations, like say you think about the marriages for the functions, you get those invitations, right? So you have the name of the host, okay? Right? Then what is there? The venue the date, time, occasion, right? So these are the basic components of an invitation, right? So where these things will come, this we will be doing, right? So in an invitation, yes. So naturally, who's the host? Who is the host in the invitation? The person who is sending the invitation, the person who is organizing, right? And uh, yes, the occasion, what is the purpose of the invitation? What is the reason for the celebration? Who is the person who has been invited? In case, as I told you, it is one person in particular. It is the person who has been invited as a chief guest. Some mention is there. Okay, right? So venue, date, time. And then once again, on the left-hand side, we have the name of the chief, you know, like organizer, the person we have to contact in case there is some kind of an issue. Okay. Generally, yes, it is written as RSVP. Reply if you please. Respond as you plead. Okay. I'll write now here. When we write invitations, they are not written in the first person. They are written in the third person. Okay. Right. All these things have to be mentioned very, very clearly. The occasion the venue, the date, and the time, okay? Now, as I start my invitation writing, so today I'm just going to tell you about the format, what are invitations, and then we will come to drafting invitations also, okay? Is this a little bit clear? Have you got an idea what are invitations? So what are the formal invitations? Formal invitations for which we send out cards, we write a letter also inviting a person as a chief guest, right? Okay, and informal invitations. Yes, like for your birthday party or for a retirement party, for an anniversary celebration, right? Housewarming, we invite 
uh, your limited gathering is there. And uh, yes, so you invite your near and dear ones, your relatives and your friends, okay? So it can be a handwritten note. It could also be like nowadays, yes, we have uh, our WhatsApp texts and everything, okay? Right? Now, let me just see if I can here show you a few examples here. Yes. Now, look at uh, this one. Is it clear or not? Can you, can you see this? Is it visible? Yes? Okay. Now here, when we look at this invitation, what is it, right? At the top, as I said, it is the name of the host, right? The name of the organizer, right? Okay. So who is it? The principal, staff, and the students, right? So this is the host, then yes, it is the name of the institute, okay, of which school, right? So like you get invitations for your annual function, right? So it is written in the same manner exactly. So the principal staff and the students of say DAV Public School Kasoli. Then we have this line. This line makes a lot of difference. We have here these words which are there telling us about the invitation, right? So request your benign presence on the auspicious occasion of. We also have cordially invite you on the occasion of, right? Request the pleasure of your company on the occasion of. So this line here, okay? Then what is the occasion? What is the function? The annual function, prize distribution function, sports meet, right? So in what is the purpose of the invitation, right? So here comes the occasion, right? Then, yes, come or uh, the annual function of the school at 10 a.m. on 1st April, so and so. Right? So here comes the date and the time. After that, if any one particular here, and especially it is, yes, for very formal uh, invitations, which are there for institutes, it could be about an inauguration of a shop. Okay, it could be any other, you can say, invitation that way and where you would like to mention the name of the chief guest. And especially when you have functions of institutes and organizations where you would like to share who is going to be the chief guest. Okay, so yes, it is Mr. O.P. Chauhan, DM, right, will be the chief guest and will give away the prizes to the students, right? Or it could be Mr. O.P. Johan, DM, has consented to be the chief guest and will grace the occasion, right? So these words and these lines we can write accordingly. Then comes the RSVP. Okay, so write who is the main organizer, who is the host that will come here, and who is it? It is the principal. So here, this side, what would be there? It would be the highest authority. So we have the principal. We also have, it could be the chairman. It could be president of the school. Okay, right? So what have we noticed over here in the invitation? What are the things that we have learned? What are the parts of an invitation? Yes, what are the parts of an invitation? We have the occasion what's the occasion yes this is the occasion we have the invitee right so that is yes so the, the here the presence on the occasion of we have the date and time we have the name of the chief guest we have the host right okay so your benign presence, because this is an invitation of a school function, it would not be named individually. Otherwise also, when you see invitations here, right? 
unless and until right it is uh, i'll be talking about that also like you have your informal uh, invitations like remember when you had your birthday party when you were uh, smaller so what was it so you would write the name of your friend also that yes i want to give this invitation to my friend okay so yes so some invitations you get by name right but others invitations they are you know like because they'll be sent to a large uh, gathering and thereby it is not possible that we would be writing each and every person's name yes on the outside on the envelope where you put the invitation in so there it would be the name of the recipient would be given right so the invite you is there okay so what are the things that we have over here yes so this is basically what the format of an invitation looks like is it easy is it yes so let's take a, another invitation here yes right this one where is it disappeared okay now all of you look here yes so can you see this is it visible? Right. Now here, this invitation, we're just going to look at the format. We will just look at the format here. As I told you here, this invitation, it could be an invitation for the inauguration of a shop, right? Inauguration of an institute, inauguration of a club, anything, you know, like there. And yes, so here the host is sending out the invitations, right? So here, the name of the host, right? So Mrs. Sham Lal and Sons announced the opening of Galaxy Novelties, right? And what is the occasion? It is the opening of, right? It's a general store. Where is it? In Gitanjali Enclave, Dwarika, Delhi. Right. So what is it? It's uh, the opening ceremony. It's the uh, inauguration. Right. On Sunday, the 19th of October. So and so at 11 a.m. So this is very, very important. Right. So what is there? The occasion, the date, time and of course, venue. Where are you supposed to reach? Fine. All are cordially invited. See, they have not written anything here regarding the chief guest or things like that. So some people you have and some big stores are opening and, uh, you know, like uh, you have these uh, very popular brands and all. Then you have the name of the chief guest, right? So maybe a, a celebrity is there or a popular personality is there or once again, an official dignitary. Right. So all are cordially invited. So they're opening the general store and they have invited all the customers or the people here. And generally, yes, here we see such here. It could be in the newspaper that such an invitation is given. We have. Yes, it could have been handed over personally also. Right. So a few people are there invited personally also to the inauguration. But yes, sometimes we also notice that these invitations here where you want a large gathering, where you want to spread word, you want to have publicity about your shop. So So generally you have in the morning newspaper, right? You open the newspaper, you see so many pamphlets also coming out of it, isn't it? Right. So yes, so here, what is it? Avail inaugural discount of 10% on all goods. Okay, so yeah, he's tempting you to join and come to come over here right so yes so that you will join this and rsvp who's the main host galaxy novelties and they have given their phone number okay right yes is this clear now or we'll have a, another look here yes here And do I need to show you a marriage uh, invitation also? Right? Okay. So here, once again, look here. What have I done? Okay. Right. So the principles start. 
of uh, here zodiac senior school uti invite to you on the silver what is it Ce celebrations right on this at in the school auditorium and mrs kamath the founder principal of the school has kindly consented to preside over the function and give away prizes for mementos okay so rsvp yes here okay and uh, when we have uh, you know like uh, these uh, kind of uh, invitations right especially school functions right here it is written program overleaf so on the other side we have the program also right about uh, the arrival of the chief guest and the lighting of the lamp and uh, right uh, you have the prayer and uh, then the prize distribution the vote of thanks and all which is mentioned on the other side okay right now let me okay right so did you get an idea what invitations look like yes all of you yeah, have you got some idea what invitations are about yes or not so you all can have a look at yourself also right and let's see how alert you are and are you really listening or not okay fine so what are the things you have to remember about an invitation can you tell me what are the things you need to remember yes anybody mayank is going to tell me lagan is going to tell me pulgit will tell me who's going to tell me so when we write an invitation yes here right so of course so we have first of all it is the name of the host right with the designation right like you have the principal staff and uh, the students of then the name of the institute right so all these things would be in the host the name the designation and the institution right then comes the occasion on the occasion of say 30th annual prize distribution function okay right then we have on such and such day date and time where the venue of course in the school premises then we come up with that yes who is going to be the chief guest for the day right and any other information that you want to get right yes so that uh, uh, parents or guests are requested to be seated by uh, what uh, 4 pm no mobile phones allowed entry with card all these instructions can also be given okay right and then on the left hand side comes the name of the chief organizer we write the word r s v p and give the name and the contact of the chief organizer now basically you know it is our social etiquettes also when we are invited to a formal function where people have to make arrangements here it is also you know like yes it is uh, our uh, like it sh we should reply we need to generally we don't and we have to tell about yes uh, whether we'll be joining we'll be attending the function or not okay right so that is why we are also going to discuss about replies also okay now this is here what is this this is about drafting the invitation so if you get a question draft an invitation so what are you going to do for that drafting means making this invitation it's a short writing skill so humne kya karna hai usko we're going to put it in a box okay right so all of you please just uh, write down one simple question right please write down one question draft an invitation draft an invitation are you writing okay draft an invitation inviting parents for the annual sports meet annual sports meet of your school 
before that you write and ask the principal of right your school draft an invitation inviting parents for the annual sports meet of your school give information regarding date time venue and chief guest naturally it's very very important okay yes so what are we going to write so like what i have shown you what i have discussed with you that is what it is going to be okay right yes so please note down the format all of you please note down the format not note down the format of the invitation 